All right, guys, today I'm going to be showing you this really cool mathematical uh, prediction style card trick. And the way this one works is uh, you can have the spectator shuffle up the deck. Um, and then what you're going to do is basically just go through and show them that all the cards here are mixed up. Um, and what you're going to do here as a spectator is gonna, you're going to pick five cards, or actually four cards from this deck. That's basically how the trick is going to work. So uh, I've made my prediction. Uh, let's say my prediction is going to be the five diamonds in this case. So you go ahead, let's say you picked four random cards. Let's say you wanted to pick this one, maybe this one. We'll go down a little bit more. We pick some card like that. And then one from here. So these are four random cards that the spectator chose. And let's say we have the nine, the two, the king, and the seven. And the way this trick works is each one of these four cards should add up to ten. And all the face cards are actually uh, going to be worth ten. So even the king or a queen, even though they're worth twelve and thirteen, these are going to be worth ten, uh, just ten cards. So let's say we're adding up to ten. So we have nine here. So we go nine. We only need one to get to 10. We have two, so we go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The king's worth 10. We take seven, eight, nine, ten. So you could have picked any cards, any four cards, and they ended up being these four. And let's take the cards that you've already chosen here. And at this point, we're going to add all these values up. So remember, guys, the king is worth 10, so we have 17 plus 2 is 19, plus 9 is going to be 28. So we have 28 here. Let's go ahead. So now we deal out 28. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 25, 26, 27. And I said my prediction would be the 5 of diamonds. And here we go, guys, the 5 of diamonds. So this is the trick and if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. Alright, so here's how the trick is going to work. I've seen a few comments ask me to post something like a self-working card trick or more like a mathematical one. So uh, this one isn't too bad, plus it's also um, kind of impromptu. So this is how it works. All you need to do is you have to know the card in the ninth position up from the bottom and that's basically it. So if you wanted to, you could set up the deck and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Stick whatever card you want to stick in the ninth position. And I'm just going to stick the Ace of Spades in here so you guys can remember that at least it's the Ace of Spades. So the Ace of Spades goes in the ninth position um, from the bottom. Or what you could do is you could have the spectator just you know completely shuffle up the deck and then you can figure out the card in the ninth position just by spreading it face up. So uh, let's say you were doing the route where you left the Ace or you left whatever card you wanted to in the ninth position, you need to either, you need to remember that card, so you could just write it down on a piece of paper, fold it up as your prediction, um, or you could do the second method. So if you did the method where you stuck the ace in the ninth position, all you have to do is riffle shuffle, and then you can lay about half the cards down with your left hand, and then complete the shuffle, so that way the card isn't really disturbed. Um, but if you do do the method where you're just kind of going impromptu, the spectator could shuffle the deck any way they like, and you can tell them, okay, so face up, I'm going to be making a prediction just looking through the cards here. And all you're doing is you could count off cards one by one until you get to nine, or you could set off blocks of three, so that's one, that's two, and then that's three right here. So however way you want to do it, um, the card's in ninth position. And at this point, you have the spectator pick four cards, and they could be any four cards as long as they're not any of the nine cards down here. So if you, if you do spread out the deck, um, you are risking the spectator picking it from the back, so you could just open up your palms and have them pick like four cards from up here. Make sure when you're spreading, you're only really spreading up here, not leaving those nine cards available. So let's say you put four random cards, and it really doesn't matter what these are. So you explain to the spectators that all you have to do, or you explain to them these are four random cards, and these all should add up to ten. And luckily, we don't we don't have any face cards here, so you don't have to explain that all face cards are worth ten. Um, aces are going to be worth one, but let's say we have these four, and the way you explain it is, look, you picked any four cards you wanted to, and all these are going to add up to ten. So if you get to two, right off the top of the deck, you just deal up to ten. So you start at two, so you go two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 8, so you have 9, 10, and then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then we have 2, so we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now from here, 
you don't really have to uh, make too much of a big deal. You can just start putting the cards on top. All you have to do is make sure all of these cards go um, on the bottom half of the deck. So you say, look, you know, I, there's no way I could have known you were going to pick these four cards. And as you're explaining, you're just picking up, you know, these cards below it. And then you tell the spectators that you are going to add up all the values of these cards. So luckily these aren't, you know, like I said, any face cards. So you have six here plus eight is 14 plus two is 16. So you tell them that at this point, you know, from these random cards, you're going to deal down 16 more cards. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then you tell the spectators one more time your prediction was the ace of spades. You flip it over and you show it to the spectators, and this is always going to be the card as long as it is in the ninth position. So. This is the trick, guys. Hope you guys like it. Uh, best of luck in the contest as well. I'm still going through some of those videos. I should have the winner up, hopefully in a few days. Um, so anyways, guys, this is the video. Best of luck, and as always, thanks for watching.